Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to do a quick video for you um, about something that happened today. So, I was rushing home to meet someone and I parked on the street. Uh, I usually park in my driveway and hopefully you can hear this, it's pretty windy out. So, I apologize if the wind's blowing in the microphone. Anyway, so I parked in the street instead of parking in my driveway, which is the other side of the house, and left my window down, but I did lock the door so the alarm was set. So my alarm, I don't know if I've showed this in another video, but my alarm siren is super weak and it's, I found out, I, I, I went to an alarm place, like a stereo, an alarm place, and they said I needed a new siren. So I went out, anyway, um, backing up. Uh, so I left my window down and about 10 minutes later, I hear my alarm going off. It's very faint, but I did hear it from the house. So someone tried to break into the car. So here's how the BMW alarm works. And I don't know if this was just an option on my car, but it I've learned recently it has a proximity sensor. So what that is, is you can't reach into the car without the alarm going off. It's got a sensor on it. So one great thing about BMW at least my car, is once it's locked, you can't open it. You cannot open the door with the, without the key. So once it's locked with the key, oh, see the alarm went off. <laughs> so you can't really hear it very well. So let me, I was gonna. Oops, I just turned off the camera, that was dumb. Anyway, so the alarm is very faint. And so I went out to the auto parts place, it's called Spalding, and I bought a new one. So I'm not good at negotiating prices on things. So the guy asked me, hey, how much do you think it's worth? And I was going to say like $10, but I was like, I don't know. I'm really bad at negotiating. He's like, how about $18? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so people can see me coming a mile away. So I want to show you where, where it goes. So like my green Crocs. Aren't they great? Um, it should be pretty easy to replace. Hopefully this one works. There's a plug and play thing here. So I'm going to work on that. I'm not going to do it on camera because that would be silly. My engine's very dirty. So it's kind of hard to get to, I think. So that might be the problem. But it's right there. Hopefully the hood doesn't fall and crush my head. Now well, maybe it won't be too hard. Actually, no, that'll be pretty easy. I have to just unscrew this thing here. Anyway, so I'm going to do that and see if it's any louder. Um, you saw, hopefully you could tell on the microphone how faint it sounds, but it should be a lot louder. Anyway, I'll do another video when that's done and just edit it into this video. So before I do a video of after the siren's replaced, I better show you again how faint it sounds. So let me see if I can set off the alarm again. So normally you just reach in. Sometimes, oh, there it goes. So there's before. Okay, so obviously it's going to be way better because I just scared the crap out of myself. So I locked the car. I hooked up to the new one. It's very simple. The new siren. There's that plug-in right there. And then I locked the car. And it never did that before, so... Pretty amazing. So we'll see how well the alarm works. Oh my god, this is going to be loud. Actually, I am going to get it all put back together and um, shut the hood because it's going to like break my eardrums kind of thing. So I will do that and make another video and edit these together. Okay, you ready for this? I'm a little nervous actually. So let's see if we can... <laughs> this is going to be loud. I know the BMW alarms are very loud. So let's see. There we go.
way louder. So if you have that problem where the siren is just really faint, go get a new siren. It's very easy to change. Anyway, hopefully you're subscribed and have a great day.